Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn with Ali. So today we will learn about the TDM with the, some theory and MATLAB. So before going the MATLAB code, let's discuss some theory about the TDM. So you know there is a in TDM time division multiplexing, a uh, commutator is there which rotates around uh, this anti-clockwise and this is signal first, first signal it collects the simple like first uh, sample of the, this signal then the second sample is collected from the second signal and similarly at the this is the signal n up to it goes up to the nth si signal. So, what here what is it is going here if we can uh, make as a matrix or row. So, the first uh, point or the first sample of this matrix is the signal 1 that is first sample of the signal 1 and second it is 2 3 up to n then again it repeat 1 2 3 it 1 is representing the first sim sample of this TDM and it is first sample of the first signal second it is the sample of the second signal sample of the third signal. So, if we are using for example, only two signals, let uh, remove that signal 1 and signal 2 and we are doing the TDM of only two signals. So, we can see if we make the matrix of TDM. there is the first sample which is the signal 1 the second signal uh, same sample it will taken from the signal 2 again it will take the first sample that means its third sample is the signal first sample and fourth sample is signal second sample like this it will repeat here at the receiver side the commutator uh, rotates in uh, clockwise direction and the synchronization between these two it necessary are required mandatory conditions otherwise there will be a mismatch and a correct uh, recover recover of the signal is not possible so in that case tdm will fail so let's discuss in the matlab code So, here close all, clear close and this is the syntax which I am using in every MATLAB program. So, you know already what is the meaning of this. The signal generation let first we are going to add or we are going to uh, make a TDM of two signals. The first signal is a sinusoidal signal, first one is sin signal and the second one is triangular signal right. So, for the sinusoidal signal how to uh, plot or how to generate a sinusoidal I have already explained here like that. You have to first explain the time division that is uh, time axis which I have given 0 to and there is a step size of 0.4 and then it goes up to 4 pi that means up to 2 cycle. Then we are generating the amplitude of the sine signal is 8 and it is sin x. Then again uh, L equals to length this is the syntax length is the syntax in the MATLAB which actually defines the number of elements in the signal 1 or whatever the signal we will give here it determine the number of element in that signal. So, we, uh, we have to take the equal length of both signal that is why we have uh, calculated the L that is length of the signal S1 and similarly there is a signal 2 which I have given, uh, taken as a triangular signal. So, this is triang is a inbuilt function or we can say the syntax in the MATLAB which is generating a uh, triangular window with the L, L is the number of elements in the triangular window. So, it is basically a uh, triangular 
signal so again we have uh, there is subplot that means it is a plot uh, for the plotting there is a subplot it is used so 2 comma 2 comma 1 that means two row and two column and the first figure it is plot signal 1 and plot signal 2 similarly i have uh, given some other like uh, stem signal 1 for example we want to see in the stem form we can see in the sampled form then also we can see so let uh, let comment other parts first and run this then you will get so this is the sinusoidal signal by the plotted and this is the triangular signal and this is the sampled form that is plotted by the stem function and similarly this is the sampled form so we have to multiplex these two signals in using the tdm tdm actually uh, combining these two signals and uh, transmitting at once Th that is called tdm time division multiplexing so let again uncomment this part let's see so uh, for the tdm that is sample collection of the signals we can say uh, our commutator rotates so we are going to uh, there is a for loop we are applying that is uh, from i equals to 1 and there is a step size of 2 because we have to take for example uh, the, at the uh, even place or, or the odd place for example for the first place and third place and fifth place we have to put the signal first component we have to put the signal first samples and at the odd place of the tdm we have to put the signal second samples so for the odd and even we are that is why the step size is 2 so when i equals to 1 that means first so tdm signal 1 comma 1 means that first row and first column that is first element of the tdm is the signal there, there is an indexing i have done an indexing like j equals to 1 so uh, right now the value of j equals to 1 signal 1 the first element of the signal 1 at the place of tdm first sample similarly the tdm 1 comma i plus 1 that means i equals to 1 first in the first uh, cycle so uh, this is to 1 comma 2 that means first row and second uh, first row and second column that is second element it is taken the signal 2 and j that means the signal second signal first sample is taken then i have increased the index from j equals to j plus 1 now the value of j equals to 2 so again when the for loop uh, running that is uh, i equals to 3 then tdm now first and second uh, sample of the tdm is already defined so now the third and fourth we have to define so for the third that is tdm signal uh, third point or third sample of the tdm is equal to the signal first second sample now the j, j value is increased by 1 that is now the j value is 2 so similarly there is a uh, fourth sample of the tdm is second signals second sample so by the same way it uh, the loops goes up to the 12 minus 1 which is the number uh, uh, twice of the component and this is gives you the tdm signal that is first second first second first second like that so we have to display the tdm signal so that uh, why we have uh, given a figure in which is i have uh, shown the tdm signal with the stem function that is and that you can visualize the signal right similarly uh, so let's again run this program so tdm is very easy uh, in matlab because we have to take the sample by sample if you know the uh, like logic how we are taking so see there is a tdm sim the first sample is from the sinusoidal second is from the triangular then third one is from the sinusoidal then fourth one is from the triangular then fifth one is from the sinusoidal 
and sixth one is from the uh, triangular. So alternatively, it collects the sample from the sinusoidal signal and then from the triangular signal and combine it. Now the signal looks like this. So from the TDM signal, we have to recover the, or we can say we have to demultiplex the signal TDM signal. Then what we can say is the we can uh, use a reshape function in the MATLAB. I have already explained in the previous uh, MATLAB programming that what is the reshape function. Reshape function is just basic uh, uh, converts the matrix in that uh, any uh, size of the matrix in desired matrix form. So, this is a TDM signal which is a row vector that is 1 comma 2 L 1 comma 64 and we have to convert 2 comma L that means uh, 2 rows and 1 column. So, it basically gives you when what is the race if I can explain. In the reset function, let a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let this is the arrow vector R. When you re reshape this, like R comma two comma one two three four five six. So, so you have to define here only three. So, it will give you and let this is R 1. So, R 1 it will give you 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is 2 cross 3 matrix. So, basically it is uh, converts the it takes the first, third, fifth like that in the first row and in the second row it is uh, and this is the odd place this is the even place. So, now we can see this is the odd place one is the first signal 1 and even place is the signal 2. So, that is why here um, using the reshape TDM signal 2 comma L it gives like this this is the signal 1 signal 2 that is why in the recovered signal 1 recovered R represents recovered or uh, D multiplex signal. So, D multiplex first represent that is first row and uh, this is column representing the all element that is all first row are taken in signal recovered signal 1 and similarly the signal recovered signal 2 is the second row of the matrix D max right. So, we have to display these things. So, again let uh, uncomment this part. So, and again run the program. How to uh, when we are defining a figure that means it generates a new figure and subplot you already know what is the meaning of the subplot it uh, converts the row by column that means how many number of figures we want in a single plot. So, let us see this is the first one this is the sinusoidal triangular signal and sampled one sampled signal then the second plot in which TDM was shown sorry this is the first one the third one it is recovered signal that is the uh, sinusoidal signal and triangular signal now the both are separated at the receiver side we can say the re receiver sinusoidal signal and recovered triangular signal. So, by this way you can uh, use the TDM for use the MATLAB to generate the TDM signal. In this place if I have to uh, for example, the third signal I have to add then here in this part you have to use 3 L minus 1 and uh, you have to again there is uh, the third you have to add the third line TDM signal 1 comma I plus 2 and there is a step side should be 1 into a step side should be here 3 and if for example, you are going to generalize the signal that is n up to n signal you are taking then a step size should be n minus 1 and here the number of signals should be i, i plus 1, i plus 2, i plus 3, i plus n minus 1 like this 
and this is the signal 1 j signal 2 j signal 3 j and similarly so i have uh, given the example of tdm for the only two signals but you can generalize or you can increase the number of signals so and the second thing that uh, i have given a sinusoidal signal and triangular signal you can uh, multiplex the sinusoidal and uh, rectangular triangular and rectangular any two signals you can combine and so um, using the tdm and do the same process for the demulting process so i hope you understand if you have any uh, problem to understand the problem this is uh, code then you can comment right so if you like the video please share and subscribe my channel thank you